Have you ever wanted to be able to fall asleep anytime, anywhere at the drop of a hat like that? Or do you struggle to shut off your mind when it's time to go to bed? What I'm about to share with you is a proven method that soldiers in the military would use in the battlefield to be able to fall asleep in two minutes flat. And this is a strategy that pilots would often use to get adequate amount of sleep so that they don't make a fatal error. It's often said that once the officers were trained in this method, it had a 96% success rate of them actually falling asleep in two minutes or less. So I'm gonna try this method and see if it works. I'm also gonna layer on every single technique that I've learned over the past five years that makes falling asleep effortless. If you're struggling with your sleep, then you can utilize any one of these strategies to help you fall asleep faster. And I bet that some nights you lay your head down on the pillow ready to fall asleep, but yet you lay there tossing and turning, mind racing, ruminating with thoughts and ideas that you can't seem to quiet down. And you end up laying there for hours trying to fall asleep. And we're gonna talk about why this happens in just a little bit here so that you can know exactly what to do and what to avoid in the future. It takes a little bit of time to master this method so let's get to sleeping let's start with the basics I'm going to go to bed at the time that I know is best for me and that's somewhere between 10 and 10 30 p.m. that also means that I'm going to wake up at the time that I know is best for me so I just woke up it's just after 7 now I'm gonna meditate for 30 minutes get my mind right make me less reactive for the day and hopefully help me sleep later tonight. I'm going to do some red light therapy for 10 to 20 minutes because a recent study came out saying it can help with the natural production of melatonin in your cells. Once I'm done with this, I'm going to go to the kitchen. Let's hydrate. So I'm going to front load a lot of water right now. I'm going to drink about 32 ounces in the first hour of the day. Now that we got our water, let's head outside. It's really important to go outside first thing in the morning to get that sunlight. Cue the circadian rhythm, regulates the proper amount of cortisol release in the morning and melatonin release in the evening. If there was one thing that made everything else easier or unnecessary, it would be this morning walk. Ooh. Okay, so it's nine o'clock and it's time to make some breakfast. That's the next cue for the circadian rhythm is meal timing. So I always have breakfast around the same time. So I'm gonna make some tacos right now, eat my breakfast and then get into some work. So this is the next thing that I'm gonna do, which is I'm gonna practice mindful eating. Why is this important in regards to sleep? Well, when you're mindfully eating, you chew your food more, you're gonna digest it better, and it's also going to slow down that blood sugar spike. So I, if I'm being honest, struggle with this quite a bit. So I'm gonna do my very best to just sit here, I'm gonna chew my food as much as possible, mindfully eat, and then we'll start work. Doing a couple things here. Number one, I am standing as I'm working. This is gonna use more energy. Number two, I got this big light here. This is also telling my body what time of day it is. More bright blue light to let my body know, hey, it's time to be awake and activate. My business requires a lot of creative work, which requires a lot of brain power. So I'm literally gonna push my brain as hard as I can in this work session to make sure at the end of the day that I'm totally wiped and can just fall asleep like that. The quality of your sleep and how quickly you fall asleep is decided by all these small decisions that you make before the sun even goes down. Oftentimes, people have problems falling asleep quickly because number one is they haven't used their body enough and exerted this physical meat suit that we move around in all day. Number two is their body is confused about what time of day it is because it's not getting enough sunlight exposure, specifically in the morning and the middle of the day, and then too much artificial light in the evening. Number three is that they're overstimulated and they're riding a dopamine mean train that is very hard to slow down. All right, I'm just wrapping up my lunch after a long three hour work block and I'm feeling good. I'm eating at my scheduled time. The reason why this is good, gotta keep that meal timing consistent for the circadian rhythm. Also helps with blood sugar, also helps with digestion. But I haven't moved that much today, so I'm going to hit the gym, which will also help me utilize that excess blood sugar. Another reason why people have trouble winding down is because they feel tired but wired. And sometimes this can be due to blood sugar instability. And that's because their blood sugar is spiking and then it's dipping, and that's gonna have radical implications in how they're feeling before bed. Sometimes this can show up as racing thoughts or anxiety or rumination. A simplified way of thinking about this is that the more you move and the more muscles you have, the better your blood sugar will be, for the most part. All right, so I've just arrived back at my house. I just finished up a protein snack post-workout and now I'm about to get some work done for the rest of the day. 
Sun is out, so I'm gonna take calls out here to get some more light exposure. And then after that, I'm gonna get ready for an early dinner. So it's five o'clock. This is called reverse fasting. So I have my dinner as early as possible, really. And then I'm gonna fast through the night. What this does is it allows the system in your brain called the glymphatic system, which is the system that clears out waste and toxins from your brain. It gives it space to be able to do that process to the best of its ability so that you can fall asleep fast and you can wake up feeling refreshed. Now it's time to unplug from work and reconnect to nature. Let's go ahead and do that right now. We're gonna enjoy the sun, enjoy being off technology for a little bit and start to wind us down and transition into the evening. Check this out. Boom. At 8.30, all the lights in the house go red. No more blue light in the house. This is the destroyer of all sleep and I'm gonna show you how to fix it. Three bars, boom, red screen. No more blue light, it's a beautiful thing. We have Magtech Magnesium. This is literally the best magnesium supplement I've ever found and that's why they're the sponsor of this video. So most magnesium supplements, they're not even really bioavailable and they can't actually absorb. This has three of the most bioavailable forms of magnesium. The way that I know that it works is because I have the stats to back it up. You can see right here, four plus hours of REM sleep. I attribute that to the magnesium three and eight that's in this. So go get yourself a bottle or two or three. I have a crazy deal where you can get 50% off. You can't get this deal anywhere else. So click the link in the description to go check them out. And I guarantee you it's gonna help improve your sleep. Turning the temperature down to 67 degrees. Having it cool in your bedroom is essential to getting a good night's sleep. So right around this time, my eight sleep mattress pod is going to cool down the top of the bed. Last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull down these blinds. 100% blackout curtains. So before I try this out, I wanna break down this method for you step by step. It's called the military method and it combines active relaxation with guided visualization. What you do is you get comfortable and you systematically relax each part of your body. Close your eyes, breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Start with your face. Picture every muscle slowly relaxing. And if you need more help, you can squeeze your face muscles and then let them go with the exhale. And relax each muscle one by one. Start with your cheeks, then your tongue, your mouth, and then your jaw. Let your eyes sink into the back of the sockets. And do the same thing with each part of your body. Your shoulders, arms, hands, fingers, chest, abs, hips, legs, calves, and feet. And squeeze them if you're having trouble and then relax them and let them go, all while breathing deeply and focusing on that relaxation. Now, if you can't stop your mind from thinking, you can repeat, don't think, don't think, don't think, for 10 seconds. To make this even more powerful, I'm gonna combine it with the 478 breathwork technique to keep my mind occupied. That's where you breathe in through your nose for a count of four, you hold for seven and then out your mouth for eight. But if all that stuff wasn't enough, my friend Justin recommended that I try listening to this song that is literally the most relaxing song in the world and has been designed to reduce anxiety, blood pressure, and even heart rate. So I was laying there and I was doing the exercises, I was focusing on relaxation, and honestly, I felt the added pressure of the camera and it being filmed and stuff like that. And I was thinking, man, is this gonna work? And I'm just trying to do my very best to not think. So I do the don't think thing and I'm doing the four, seven, eight and I'm listening to the music and I'm relaxing my body little by little. And I'm telling myself, I don't know if this is gonna work. And then all of a sudden, boom, right there. And I nodded off. I could literally feel myself falling into sleep. And then my girlfriend woke me up and I looked at how long it took me to fall asleep. And it wasn't quite two minutes, but it was a little bit less than five minutes. And I was like, damn, I think this works. They say it takes a little bit of time to master this technique. So I'm gonna keep practicing it and build it into my routine and teach myself this skill set of being able to fall asleep fast. What's crazy about this experiment though that I didn't expect is although I had to do all these things to ensure that I was gonna fall asleep fast, I had one of the best days I've had in a very long time. I was 
insanely productive from a work perspective. I had a really hard workout. I ate super healthy. I had lots of time outside. I got to spend some really wholesome quality time with my girlfriend and I felt extremely engaged and present with everything that I was doing. I truly felt like the whole day I was in flow. By the end of the day, I felt spent. Like I had left it all out on the field. Even though it was a lot, I kind of wish I had more days like that. Thanks so much for watching. I put a lot of work into these videos so I know you're gonna like this one right here.